Hey everybody, welcome to Andy Meets Disney. Uh, my name is Cedric. And I am his wife, Katie. We're so glad you're here with us today. Uh, so everybody asks, why do a YouTube video? Well, we just love Disney. We've been over about 35 times. We're pass holders. And we're not experts, that's for sure. Uh, we're not travel agents. Um, but we just have a lot of experience. And we just want to share that experience with you guys. So hopefully you guys can uh, learn from our mistakes, maybe. And um, you guys can be better prepared for when you decide to make that trip down to Disney. That's good. Um, Cedric and I are both teachers. And so we are able to use those breaks to be able to go to Disney frequently. So we try to go um, the last couple of years. We go four or five different times throughout the year. So we are very blessed to do that. So let's go ahead and talk more about why we love Disney. Yeah. So everybody always asks me like so why why do you want to go to Disney all the time doesn't it get old doesn't it get boring uh, is there like anything left to do that you guys haven't done you've gone so many times <laughs> and my response is no I still love to go to Disney <laughs> so we're gonna go through some some reasons here of why we still love Disney okay reason number one we love Disney because it's huge it is roughly the size of San Francisco um, so you are going to do a lot of walking and you're going to get a lot of steps in on your Fitbit. So it's just big. Yeah, that's right. If you have never walked a lot in your life, be prepared to walk when yes. you go to Disney. And for blisters, <laughs> bring those band-aids for those blisters you might get. Yeah. Um, also, there are so many places to dine at Disney. We're big Disney foodies. Um, so there are over 200 places to eat at Disney. Um, some of those will range in um, variety from full service restaurants to quick service restaurants. Um, and there is just so many places that we love to eat. Um, we found a few favorites that we like to go to again and again and again. Um, some places that we like to make sure we go on every trip. Um, we also like to, to try different things too. Yeah. And one of the greatest things about Disney restaurants, too, is they're always changing up their menu. Mm. And it seems like there's always something new that they're placing on their menu. So uh, even though you're going to maybe a favorite restaurant, um, you can always usually find something new that you haven't tried or something um, new for a holiday or something new that they're trying out um, for you to experience. Um, so uh, it's just always a new um, adventure every time you go to um a Disney restaurant um, and that's what makes it exciting every time you get to go and keeps wanting you to to go back um, to try a new restaurant or to try a new quick service or to try um, a new kiosk or whatever that's in a Disney theme park or in a Disney hotel is just um, the new things that you can try that they make available to you. Mm -hmm. And to go along with that, a lot of times we will jot down things when we see things on YouTube or see things on Instagram that look really yummy. We'll just make a note of it and we're like, okay, we're going to hit that up on our next trip. So we just constantly kind of make lists of places to eat. Right. Um, some other reasons that we love Disney. Um, there are so many different rides um, at spread over the four different parks. So the four different parks, if you're not Disney um, literate like we are, would be Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and then I'm forgetting Epcot. Yeah. Epcot. Epcot. Yeah. Goodness, we love Epcot. <laughs> um, but there are just tons of different rides, and there's rides for different groups of people. So there's kid rides. There's like thrill rides and there's just anything that you can imagine. So yeah, and we hope to do videos and we should be posting those um, within a reasonable amount of time on each of those parks and some of the great rides of each of those parks. Um, but like Katie was saying, um, there's a new unique experience at all these different parks. Um, whether it's um, traveling to a galaxy far, far away at Hollywood Studios, whether it be um, experiencing the future at Epcot, um, traveling to the world of Pandora and Animal Kingdom or going on a safari or mm -hmm. traveling to Never Never Land at Magic Kingdom. There's just something unique at each park. That's good. Um, and then also, so Disney has four theme parks, but then on Disney property, but not included in a theme park or it's completely free, is a place called Disney Springs. And so when I say free, it's free to park there. Um, but obviously there's stores and restaurants as well. Um, in fact, Disney Springs has a total of over 150 different stores, restaurants, um, entertainment places. Um, so when we go on our next trip, we're actually planning on spending an entire day just at Disney Springs and 
like I said, we're, we're Disney foodies. And so we've already got a list of places and we're working on a list of places we want to try to eat for different snacks. Um, there is a movie theater there, bowling alley. Bowling what alley else? Yeah. And there's a Cirque du Soleil there right now. It's closed due yeah. to COVID, but, um, they keep talking that's going to come back real soon with a yes. brand new show that wasn't there before. So that's exciting. Um, there's all kinds of new, um, snack places that open. There's a Gideon's and yeah. we have to do a video on that here shortly. Yes, um, Everglades donuts. Um, they're supposed to be amazing. We haven't tried yet, but hopefully do a video on that before long. Mm -hmm. Um, there's just always something new and amazing happening at Disney Springs. And like Katie was saying, it's, um, it's completely free to go down there. It's just, the cost is just, um, choosing to what you, um, do as far as eat or, um, activity you decide to do. That's the only cost. I highly recommend that you, um, keep some time in your schedule to experience Disney Springs, um, while you're down there. Mm -hmm. Some more reasons that we love Disney. Disney has, um, two different water parks. Um, we've actually never had a chance to go to any of the water parks yet, but I think that will definitely be in our future. There's Blizzard Beach, there's Typhoon Lagoon. Um, they were both closed due to COVID, but they're starting to reopen slowly. Um, and then two mini golf courses, and then there's four full-size golf courses. So if you're into those things, those are things that we've honestly not adventured to do yet, um, but things that could definitely keep us going again and again and again. Yeah, as like Katie was mentioned, there, the two water parks, Blizzard Beach, Typhoon Lagoon. Blizzard Beach actually just opened. Mm -hmm. Um... And like she was saying, there's just so many other things outside of the parks, outside of even Disney Springs, right. that you can do and enjoy at Disney um, and keep you entertained. They even actually just opened a, a foot golf um, as well. Hmm. So if you'd like to try something like that as a new adventure, um, that's another option for you. And then ESPN, they've got a complex there um, when the NBA shut down with COVID. That's where the NBA ended up doing all of their, their games and things. Right, having the championship. So, mm -hmm. yep. And then also along our reasons of why we love Disney is there are many different hotels to stay at. There are 25 different hotels to explore and enjoy. Right. Um, sometimes we will stay at just one hotel for our entire stay. Sometimes we like to change things up and get fancy and split our time at one hotel um, and then go to a different hotel for other times. Um, but the neat thing about the hotels is that they're very different themed. Um, so some of our favorites um, just... In, well, another thing to go along with that is there's different price levels too. So sometimes we want to save some money. We'll st we'll stay at places like Pop Century or um, the All Start Sports or music or things like that. Um, Pop Century is our favorite. Um, we'll talk about that in another video. Yeah, another video coming out. Um, yep. But the hotels are just so really well themed and thought out and entertaining. And um, what else do you love about the hotels? Yeah. Um, so like Katie was talking about, they're very uniquely themed um and going from one hotel to one hotel it's it's totally new experience you mm -hmm. don't um get the same vibe from any hotel um like polynesian when you're there you totally feel like you're on a tropical paradise when you're at polynesian it doesn't even feel like you're on a disney theme park we're fancy when we stay yeah. there <laughs> um, and every um, hotel usually has some sort of dining establishment in it so you don't have to leave to eat um, the nicer hotels have like a nice sit down restaurant usually in them. They, Disney hotels provide transportation for you, buses. Some of them have the Skyliner, which is like, um, uh, in the in the air system, I think what they call it, like a gondola or something mm -hmm. like that system yeah. that transports you around a monorail system, um, water, um, taxi type services that'll take you around. So there's a lot of benefits that staying in a Disney hotel. And, um, if you're able to, um, uh, afford it, I would recommend that you stay at a Disney hotel when you're there. And another thing I was thinking of when you were mentioning like the dining is that yes, you do get that amazing dining when you stay there, but you can also make reservations to go to hotels and eat at places right. that you don't have reservations to. Um, so we like to do that. We'll stay at one place, but then we'll go eat dinner at this hotel or eat breakfast at this hotel. And there's character dining at some of the hotels yeah, and things. Right. So, and we have other favorite things about Disney. Um, one thing that just over the last couple of years we've started to enjoy are the festivals and events that are, go on at Disney. Um, when Disney puts on a festival and puts on a party, it puts on a party. <laughs> um, so Epcot is really well known for their festivals. I believe there's like four of them throughout each year. And the festivals usually last for a month up to like several months. Um, and they have different themes. So currently is the Flower and Garden Show, um, their festival at Epcot. And so they have 
topiaries that are chiseled and cut into different shapes of Disney characters. And it is just amazing to see topiaries that are just, just fantastic. Fantastic. Um, Epcot also, when they do their different festivals, they have food booths and at the World Showcase, they'll have different countries giving some of their best dining options and Cedric and I often spend an entire day just at Epcot going through the World Showcase and going from snack to snack to dinner to snack to dinner to snack to snack to snack to snack, <laughs> to snack um, and just enjoying our way of eating through the different festivals. Right. Um, and then do you want to talk about the like Magic Kingdom parties and stuff that we've done? Sure. I would just hit on the um, Epcot as well. Um, we're we going to Disney here real shortly. I think like in 10 days or something like that, maybe less. Um, but the Flower and Garden, like she, she mentioned, Katie mentioned, will be going on when we're there. And if you happen to go to our Facebook page, which is at the top, the link to it is at the top of our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page, there's a possibility I could be going live a few times on there. Mm -hmm. um, so you could join us down there um, for that festival. Um, so do that if you'd like to be a part of the live feed. Um, so just a little plug there. Um, but as far as festivals at, um, or events that take place at Magic Kingdom, they have like Mickey's Not So Scary and, um, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. And they had a villain's night a couple times that took place there. Yeah. Uh, just very unique events. And some of those at, uh, Magic Kingdom, um, are very cool. Um, and the fact that, um, they're paid events, so, I mean, there's some extra costs there because they're paid, but they're such unique experiences because the park is, um, the attendance is much smaller, so it's a much more kind of intimate experience because um, you kind of have the park to yourselves in a sense um, with such a small group of people, plus you get um, more personalized character meet and greets, um, you get usually spe special treats at most of those events, um, and it's just a, a really neat experience. Now, right now, during COVID, some of that stuff's been shut down, not happening. But I anticipate with things mm -hmm. changing that those things will be back soon. Um, and if you get a chance and you're down there during Halloween time or during Christmas time or when you hear one of these nice. events going on, I totally recommend that you go and mm -hmm. experience those. And also, we Animal Kingdom has had things as well. There's other places that have events and festivals. We've had, it was called... Rambe Nights, I believe it was called. Rambe Nights, and it was kind of just focused on just this African Lion King feel, and right. it was really neat. Yeah, so. it was neat. But guess what? There's more reason we love Disney. It's just because we love Disney. We're like Disney nuts. Um, both of us grew up going to Disney with our families, and... Um, Cedric surprised me on our honeymoon with a trip to Disney, and we've just been going back ever since. So to us, it's just nostalgic. Um, it's it's who we are. <laughs> We're just Disney people, um, and just Disney has a really special place in our heart. Um, there's nothing like going to Disney, especially the Magic Kingdom. Um, it truly is magical. You'll walk down Main Street and just get this feel of like, oh, I'm home. Um, I'm where just where the magic happens. And this guy is a big kid. Um, but we both get to be kids when we're at Disney, so. That's right. Yeah, the whole reason we do this video is because we love Disney. The whole reason we go to Disney so many times, so much is because we love Disney. Right. If you came to our house, you would see all kinds of Disney all over the place. Heck, we even dress our dog in Disney. That's how much we love Disney. Um, we are just people that love Disney. That's the whole reason we do this channel is because we love Disney. So we hope you guys will enjoy the videos that we post and make um, and just go along on the journey with us. So, Yeah, and if you have enjoyed this video, um, if you would just subscribe and uh, just look forward to some other videos that we're going to be putting on here. Um, the plan is to do a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and on Saturday. So hit that subscribe button and then you should get a notification of when a new video is going to be posted on here. And if you like this one, uh, if you give it a like, that would really help us out as well. And um, go ahead and leave a comment, too, about what you thought of this video. That'll help us um, to see where we maybe need to improve or what you liked about the video. That would be awesome. Or questions you have, things you'd like for us to, to show, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Well, that is Indy meets Disney. And we'll, we'll see, see you real soon. soon.